Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. It's been a day, I'm rested, refreshed, ready to go. We had a Samson run, I got Epic Fetus. Oh, we get to start off today with an Azazel run. Oh, that's beautiful. Seller 1, doesn't really bother me that much. Z, V, 6, Y, G, S, X, V. Gasex V! That was my name uh, when I was an alien from the planet Krypton. Hey! The game is being a little too kind to us right now. You know, I think they feel a little bit bad because they screwed me on a few runs in a row, and then I screwed myself on a couple of runs, which is really just how my days go typically anyway, but getting the mark for free is awesome. Extra half spirit art to kind of supplement any deals with the devil that we might take. It actually means that if we can avoid taking damage uh, on this floor and the next floor, which is a bit of a tall order admittedly. Ooh, that just probably made us take forever to charge our shot, but it will do more damage in the process, which is okay, I think. It really does take forever, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, if I avoid taking damage on this floor or the next floor, I should be able to take a deal with the devil. Hopefully something that ups our rate of fire or ups our damage without substantially lowering our rate of fire at this point, because I am a, a very slow charge here. That's okay. You know what would also be awesome is an orbital. Just take a second to look at this. That is a badass looking character. Even when you close your eyes, there's always one eye open in the center of your fucking forehead. That's just true in real life as well, though. Not that this isn't real life. Let's do this shit, Pin. You do not stand a chance in hell. I actually feel bad. Speed and range upgrade. Honestly, I like the speed. The range, it helps out a little bit as a Zazel. It's very easy to botch our range as a Zazel. It's a lot harder to kind of put together a decent uh, amount of it. So I'll take a range upgrade. Above all else, I would love to still get one more extra uh, spirit heart over the course of this floor. I would take a black heart. Uh, sure, let's blow this up. This might be it right here, or it might be small rock, which would also be awesome. I'll open it. Tammy's Guppy's head. Hey, one of these days I'll stop getting those two confused. What can I say? All cats look the same to me. Virgo? Eh, I don't know how I feel about it, but I do love Tammy's head, not only because we have a chance to become Guppy, but because our flies are going to be out of control. This is actually going to be nuts. Each one of these flies is going to be doing two times the damage of one tick of brimstone, which I don't really know, you know, proportionally how much that is, how much one tick is relative to the, you know, amount that we, uh, the amount of ticks we get, for example, but it's pretty damn good. We also will be able to go to our shop, and immediately we're going to be fighting Krampus, which is meaningless. Lump of coal, somebody up there likes me. Didn't have to spend any HP, picked up an item, and uh, let's see what we've got inside of our shop here. Red candle. Let's take the 9 volt. That will, uh, we'll take the key as well. So that will allow us to uh, get more than one Guppy's head charge per room, potentially. But let's be honest, we're probably going to be killing rooms faster than the, uh, than the 9 volt will be able to work. Oh my god, another free item? You're too good to me, game. But for once, I'm being serious. Okay, Goathead means unlimited deals with the devil for the rest of the game. This is kind of absurd. Big money, big prizes, I love it. Let's see if we can time how long it takes. Yeah, it's going to take like 10, 15 seconds, I think, for um, for Guppy's head to, to get recharged. But if we ever get a better spacebar item, not that Guppy's head is bad, but if we do ever get one that's maybe more conducive to recharging like this, that's good. And also, um, we also picked up the 9-volt half price, so I can't really complain about that. I'm not going to be planning on doing a speedrun or anything, you know, silly like that here, but we are going very, very quickly and... You know, we're making... Oh, that was dumb. Making very good time in the process. I think I'm just going to fight the boss, and we'll take our cube of meat and get a move on here. Unfortunately, I can't take either of those without getting myself killed. But the door will remain open, which is why I didn't really care too much about uh, whether or not we had enough HP to actually take that, that deal with the devil set up there. Because we'll uh, be able to come back if we get more spirit hearts in the future, which obviously I'm hoping that we do, but we'll see. I would take one deal for for three hearts if I could afford it. Absolutely. In the meantime, we're looking to get one more penny, so we can probably buy one spirit heart there. We have no bombs, so we're just kind of on the lookout for our item room now. Man, this is not great damage, but I do appreciate uh, Virgo being active and ready here. Those are not red chests, which might be good, but is not... You know what? Just do that. The longer our flies live, the better it is for us. Man, the, the charge time on this brimstone shot is actually a little bit out of control. I would very much welcome some tears upgrades. Bombs are okay too. 
I think you'd forgive me for being a little bit anxious about our overall HP situation right here. You know, if we just get caught in one bad explosion... And our mother gets scared, that's all it would take for us to move to a, you know, a wealthy suburban household in uh, Beverly Hills. Bel Air, whatever. Same difference. Money equals power. Oh, that's awesome. Makes me a little bit more hesitant to, to play that judgment. Makes me a little bit more hesitant to buy things. But I'm very thankful to uh, to get money equals power anyway. Especially if we actually do get the opportunity to maybe... I don't know, pick up some HP upgrades, play that blood bank. There, there's all sorts of potential outcomes here. Are we going to... I think we're going to buy the spirit heart. Let's see what we get in our secret room, actually. Our secret room could, could really inform our decisions for this one. That's not it. That's a bit of a surprise to me, but it's pretty much got to be down here then. Can't be there, so it must be here. Weird location, sort of, based on the layout of this room, but it, it works. As much as I love uh, damage upgrades, we are going to have to buy that spirit heart just to, just to keep ourselves in good standing. We're going to sacrifice like 0.2 damage to get it. Big whoop, right? It's not so bad. We're in a great position on this run with the exception of having very, very limited HP. I'm going to try for a second secret room here. It shouldn't be here, yeah. It's too adjacent to the other room. Uh, and we're not going to take any of those deals. There is the theoretical chance that we could take one of them and it would be like nine lives or something, which would be an amazing pickup for us in every conceivable way. Just ignore those sirens in the background. I swear I live in a good neighborhood. Some, you know, even in good neighborhoods you need ambulances from time to time. Everyone always assumes it's the police or the fire department or something. No, it's mostly ambulances, man. Canada has a very elderly uh, population, not to say that necessarily it's an elderly person in there. So Spider Baby only produces flies when you get hit. People were kind enough to inform me of that. Uh, in particular, after a recent run, I guess, is The Lost, where I picked up Spider Baby and was like, oh, this is good, it produces spiders. Right, just because you can fly doesn't mean, well, that was just me demonstrating it there, but just because you can fly doesn't mean you can get out of that room um, without getting hit. Luckily, we have picked up some HP on this floor anyway. You'd think I would realize, uh, that by now, but hey, it's the situation we're in. Just get out of here just fine. The rate of fire is is killing me on the inside, but the damage that we're doing makes up for it. And we've already got uh, almost all of our money back that we spent in order to get uh, in order to get that uh, spirit heart that I immediately lost by walking on the spikes. So let's assume that we lost the black heart for walking on the spikes. This is why I appreciate having the flies, because, you know, in a way, maybe I can alternate rooms. Like, one room will use uh, our tears, the next room will use the flies. We don't have any keys, unfortunately, here. And the flies can help out, as usual. Joker? Two of hearts. Oh, we don't even need the Joker card with the goat head, now that I think about it. Yeah, this is, this is going okay now. But... Oh, do we have Curse of the Blind on this floor? I don't think we can actually see our curse after we uh, choose to ignore it. Which is unfortunate. Curse of the Blind is really the only curse that can uh, really bung me up here. Curse of the Unknown is relatively meaningless. And uh, I'm trying to think. like Curse of the Lost just gives me more rooms to generate more money, which is fine by me. Keep upping our damage with basically no cost to myself whatsoever. Give me some keys, though. We basically have like a... Endlessly usable Krampus's head here. Only with an exceptionally slow range in only one direction. Basically, we have a very high damage shot. Deal with the angel. For Lazarus's rags. Now I know this is gonna ruin. I'm just gonna go down to the next floor, honestly. We don't we only have one bomb anyway. It's gonna ruin our deal with the devil potential, but Lazarus's rags actually gives me kind of an out as uh, Azazel. Curse of the Blind again. Gosh darn it. If I die, I will come back with um, a little bit of a, a damage bonus, I believe. So, if you respawn as Lazarus, you lose the negative luck, and you no longer uh, have shit damage. You get a 1.2 times damage modifier. However, does that actually work if you just respawn via Lazarus' rags? To be honest with you, I don't know. But it's kind of a, it's like a, a fail-safe in case I make some terrible decisions and end up dying in the process on this run. Plus, we haven't gotten very much HP on this run, and uh, Lazarus' rags was free. I'm also not convinced that I actually, you know, I, I might have experienced Lazarus' rags in our, uh, hey. I might have experienced Lazarus' rags in our uh, angel room before, but I definitely hadn't internalized it as a deal with the angel item, so 
it's kind of nice to be in this position and be like, oh, okay, Lazarus's rags is an angel item, so we can look forward to that or, you know, the opposite in the future. Probably most of the time we'll be like, Lazarus's rags, ugh. I'll take the crab juice, right? So I'm going to keep, uh... I'm going to keep my spirit arts for now, just in case we do get the opportunity to get something with a deal with the devil. Of course, when all deals with the devil are the same, there's, you know, that's great when you can recognize what the deals are. When you can't recognize what the deals are, as with Curse of the Blind, like we have right now, that's a very shitty situation, because we could end up paying three hearts for Brother Bobby. Or we could end up paying three hearts for, you know, regular Brimstone. There's positives and negatives. Money's getting out of control. I appreciate it. We'll probably try to hit up our shop on this floor. It's a very good run. I mean, triple shot by itself is amazing. So many times we find that the secret room is right here. What did I tell you? It's just like those fires might as well be like, uh, you know, a Brandenburgian gate that just says here lies the secret room. But anyway, um, we uh, the, the triple shot by itself is good enough to basically give us all the damage we could possibly need on a run. What we need now is more HP because, you know, as, as a Zazel, you do need HP because your uh, your range is terrible. You gotta get right up in enemy faces. Or we could just get Brimstone and completely, like, you know, supersede the fact that we have a Zazel Brimstone right now. That would also be amazing, especially if we could get it on the cheap. Dead Onion, I think it might give us some extra damage. I only opened that because there was this key back here. Don't question it. And... With no spirit hearts, I think we'll buy the key, and we can afford both of the other items. Blue map, good enough. Mom's coin purse, could be good. Paralysis, well, we're definitely not paying five cents for that extra paralysis pill, I'll tell you that much. And... Bombs are key. Hey, I like it, okay. Good stuff. There's our second secret room, which means our boss room is probably, like, right next to it. Give me an eternal heart, I can actually use some uh, red hearts right now. Blackheart also potentially fine. Sometimes you gotta, you know, enter like a who dares win state here. And another random spirit heart drop. This means that in all likelihood... Oh, that's gonna be good. In all likelihood, I'm gonna probably take whatever deal with the devil the game sees fit to give me. Unless it's a deal with the angel. In which case, that's fine too. Caffeine pill. Thank God it's not telepills. You should never open that. In that or never just take that in that situation. I actually appreciate the three spirit hearts, so I didn't end up taking something that would completely ruin my run. Let's head down to the next floor. We're already on Necropolis 2. Kind of ridiculous. We still could use, like, a tears upgrade. Why stand there? Sometimes I have to I have to question my own sanity sometimes. Like, why, why stand literally right next to the enemy in order to make that happen? So here's what I'm thinking. Do that, and then kill him, and then you get another Gubby's Head Charge right away. Better off with uh, Mom's Pearl than Purple uh, Heart, I would say. Haven't really found a great strategic use for Purple Heart on a hard mode, but that that's, that could be due to ignorance of the uh, actual way that the item works. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Could be due to ignorance of the way that the item works. I just realized... <laughs> I forgot I had money equals power, and I decided to spend 30 cents buying items that I didn't even know what they were. Now, it it sort of worked out, although, you know, I mean, blue map's fine. We might take issue with the fact that I just said, uh, Mom's coin purse worked out for us. But, yeah, that was a, a bit of a silly decision on my part. I apologize. That's alright. We got the whole run to get more money. We got plenty of keys. We're only 11 minutes in, so we got, like substantially more than the requisite amount of time in order to get to boss rush and uh, that's a great thing for me because we have the fool card oh no I got rid of it for high priestess so telepathy for dummies is god awful don't even need to pick it up I think we're gonna come back and get the fool card I totally forgot not all is as it seems when it comes to the the power rankings of consumables in rebirth I don't think we need to go to our shop, but I'm because we have extra keys, I'm going to go in the hopes that we fight greed and recover some of that money that I stupidly spent. Nope. It's alright. Our damage is still incredible. Forgot that those guys uh, can hit you in that situation as well. We might actually want to play that Demon Judgment, but only after we get um, permanent Polaroid Invincibility so that we don't get, you know, dick-fucked in the process. Very stupid way to handle that, but that's okay. Mom is not quite nearly dead, but pretty close. Now, we're going to... Every other foot is when we're going to hit, just because of the charge time. 
So just handle this appropriately. Wait for the foot. There we go. Not this one, but the next one. Okay, next one. Very easy. We did get a deal with the devil this time. We'll go inside. The pact uh, on the house, basically, is pretty good. And then inside of here, Cricket's body, piercing shots, magnet. I think all of these might be worthless, but Cricket's body carries a tears upgrade associated with it, which might alleviate my uh, my rate of fire concerns for now. You know. At only 13 minutes, I think it, it's kind of in our best interest to take some time to explore the rest of the floor. Why not, right? Rate of fire seems like it might be a little bit better. Maybe a guppy item, maybe a gu- okay, that's fine too. Half a spirit heart, never hurt anybody. That's okay. I don't expect that we've got very much floor left uh, in us here. We can go back and get that high priestess card as well. Again, this is not really a speed run here. We don't need to worry about that. I'd like to keep our flies alive, but I think we've got a, a combination that will pretty much carry us through the rest of the game here. That's a magician card. Always is a magician card. There's got to be some extra lore behind that, right? That can't just be like a a, a glitch or like a, a not a, really an exploit, but like a mistake. I don't I don't buy it. I think there's got to be something, some kind of inside joke that we're not privy to going on there. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we've uh, explored nearly everything. I didn't go to our second secret room, which was a little bit of an oversight on my part. Got to be a little aggressive on these guys. I do think our rate of fire has helped pretty substantially by by Cricket's body, but as with everything that I know in Rebirth, uh, it's well, everything I think I know, it's just anecdotal, you know? I, I can't really say whether or not it actually did help us out that much. We're going to take High Priestess, which is basically, you know, combined with a little bit of a fly army is basically a guaranteed boss kill in like a second. With the Polaroid, we can play this guy. I think we might. Oh, okay. Let's see. Pretty fly. That'll give us a full suite of orbitals. That seems to happen fairly often. Another luck upgrade. Bombs are key. I'll take it. I'd like to have more keys than bombs. Bad gas. And what are you? Balls of steel. Wow. That was really good. All right. Play the crap out of this demon judgment. It's only half a spirit heart on this floor. Pays for itself pretty quickly. All right. We got Virgo sometimes as well, which will give us, like, huge invincibility. But we don't need it. We got a speed plus shot speed up. I don't think that really affects us, and we'll head down to the next floor then. And I would call this a one run, but as a Zazel, you know, you know, it's often a one run just by when you start. I've lost Azazel runs. Oh man, that's pretty good. I'm not proud of the Azazel runs that I've lost, but I have lost them. Uh, hopefully this does not turn into one of them, but I would be very surprised if it did. I'm feeling good. Feeling like the game and I are working together as collaborators instead of, uh, you know, trying to think of a, a word that implies hostility that starts with a C, but I, combatants, there we go, we're competi competitors instead of combatants. Um, it's good. We're making beautiful music together, I hope. And sometimes an Azazel run is exactly what you need just to get your morale back. I will never poo-poo, I love that word, I will never poo-poo Azazel again, because... You know, sometimes in Isaac, you need an easy mode. And if you're thinking that you don't, you're gonna, at some point. I remember, I remember the bravado when I was on the streak. Oh, maybe I'll never lose an Isaac again, this game's too easy. And then all of a sudden, I crack off, like, a, a pretty terrible, uh... No, that, right, can't shoot that guy. Crack off a pretty terrible, uh... Not losing streak, but a run of poor form, at least. That I can't be proud of. Hopefully this is the right way. I think it is. When in doubt, choose the, the most roundabout way to get... Oh, so dumb. To choose the most roundabout way to get to the, um... The boss room. When you don't have the map, at least. Charge... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is wrong with these guys? You ruined it, Ed. You ruined it. Fix them. Hey, I don't mind. I'm just getting, like, free Guppy's head charges. All day, every day. Easy. Don't really need that. Mom's Pearl working out a lot better for us. But I tell you, the, the most roundabout way will be the right way. Glad we have those orbitals, because I am getting like right up in these enemy faces. Double Loki. I mean, we, we could High Priestess. But I think we're better off High Priestessing um, against Isaac, probably. We gotta take Guppy's tail. Now we're Guppy. I don't know if Azazel's Brimstone creates flies. 
That's just a super lucky chest. Uh, I think Azazel's Brimstone creates flies. Is there a Balls of Steel pill in here? Tears up. I love it. I can see forever. That's really good. Another luck upgrade. We'll stick with High Priestess. Even though I can see forever would be good. It just saves us bombs. You know what? Fuck it. Brother Bobby, welcome to the crew. I think we've got enough HP to justify that. I don't think it'll kill us. That Whenever you pick up Brother Bobby, it's just straight up cockiness. But hey. I'm feeling pretty good. We were almost at the HP cap anyway. How fast do we charge our tears? Pretty quickly. It's a shame that we got Cricket's body in a situation where we couldn't really use Cricket's body, but that's all right. You know the rules. Uh, well, you know the, you know the um, paradigm. I think Libra might be terrible for us here, but I'll pick it up anyway for the extra consumable gain. Um, no, it actually seems like it's awesome. Our rate of fire. Oh my god, our rate of fire is so much better thanks to Libra. I think it's thanks to Libra. We can almost tap shoot now. And I don't think we're doing less damage either. That actually seems amazing. But you know the paradigm. If you kill Mega Fatty quickly, you're having a good run. We did, uh, oh, you know what happened, I think? Everything got kind of balanced uh, to the middle, so our speed went way down. And I think tiers and maybe even damage went up. It, it seems like our range is higher as well. I'm not gonna look at our stat screen because that's cheating, but uh, we'll also improve our damage by a decent amount right there. I like it. HP is nice as well. Yeah, our range is definitely higher. The amount of tears we're generating is just offensive, really. I'm a little offended. 18 minutes. This might end up being like, well, I guess it can't be faster than that quote-unquote speedrun Azazel run I had. Because that was that ended up only being like 16 minutes overall, so we're already past that, but still. The fly generation is out of control. How did the, I don't even know how those flies got there, but they finished the job pretty quickly. Even if our damage got uh, balanced down a little bit, doesn't really bother me. Because we're generating so many more flies because we can actually, you know, charge our shots in less than 15 seconds. Plus, you know, the damage downgrades is like Azazel Brimstone doesn't really matter, it seems. There we go. Don't waste too many of yourselves on that, flies. Kind of a total waste there. That's how quickly we can fire now. It's hard to get used to, actually. I'm used to charging and then, you know, having a much more deliberate shot. But we don't need to do that here. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. I think that's just there to waste a key. But I figured we had the extra consumables. Why not give it a shot, right? Money is, you know, back in a pretty good position. I appreciate it. Uh, trickled charge. I don't think that actually affects Guppy's head when we already have 9 volt, especially. So I'm just not going to do anything with it. Get that turret killed. And then one last zombie dead, and this will be the end of Mom's heart, I think. If we can actually get the flies to get in there. There we go. Still got a decent fly army for the next floor. Goathead now ceases to be useful, but that's okay. Thank you, Goathead, for your service. You're, uh, you're, you're a big part of this run. I appreciate it. You made Guppy happen. Sort of. You were a, a principal part in the whole Guppy thing. That's what it'll say on your certificate. That you'll receive in the mail. Balls of steel. I appreciate that. You smart, you loyal, and all that. Oh, wow. Did not expect to be finding our boss fight this early. Let's high priestess this guy. Drop some fat brimstone action on him. And then get the hell out of the way. Th since our speed is down, this is like the only fight where that's going to matter. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to get right in there, but... He is pretty much screwed. Yeah. Guppy's head is just doing work for us on this run. We're going to be done in like 22 minutes. That is a surprise. Let's put it that way. Not that I expected an Azazel run to be long. Quad shot. Okay. Leech. Mr. Boom. Able. A little bit of a dubious set of pickups here, but I'm going to pick up quad shot. It should make our charge time like ridiculously long, but I'm guessing it's going to make our... Oh, you know what? Charge time is still like completely acceptable here. All right. I'm going to say that we're probably going down to the left. I'm assuming that this is going to be a damage increase then. We should go to our secret room. We've gotten a, a lot of luck upgrades. Mom's contact, I mean, it's overkill at this point, but sure, it's a great item. Not wrong. Yum heart is not something we're going to need. Inside of our secret room, we get a battery. Each one of these flies carries about, you know, 80 kilojoules of energy inside of them. 
So the more of those we can get, the better, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't know if we're, you know, gaining flies, losing flies. It doesn't seem to really matter all that much. I guess we'll take bad gas with us. We have a, a copious fly army that follows us from room to room, and that's the only thing that matters in my mind. We also have permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is kind of ridiculous. A free item. Mm, not my favorite. I will take the black heart, though. Now, we can't confirm that the boss is down here. We found our boss room without, or we found our second secret room without finding the boss adjacent to it. Something feels a little fishy here. I hate this room. But the gurglings, when they get close, are gonna get completely screwed. And another free item. Headless Baby is totally acceptable. Actually synergizes really nicely with Mom's Contact. Freeze the enemy on top of the, you know, deleterious creep. He's my favorite uh, slam poet. And it uh, just kills them very easily. Why not take the Eternal Heart at this point? This is a victory lap for us. Being able to basically tap shoot this incredible amount of damage is a nice change of pace. Alright. Dingle. I'm gonna use this as my example of Dingle not being a hard boss. Look, you just walk up to him and shoot. It's the easiest thing in the world. You got a problem? You are dead. Why are you so far away? It just is a little offensive to me. And let's fight our boss. I'll stand right next to him. I'll poison him. Hit me. Like... I, I want you to hit me so I can get invincible and then stand next to you even more guilt-free, but can't even manage that. Hey, thanks for watching. A very easy run here at 2220. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.